Welcome to CIE Math Solutions. In this video, we will explore the derivations of the algebraic identity a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Welcome to another Math Solutions video. In the previous video, we have already explored the visual or geometric proof of the algebraic identity a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. If you have not watched it yet, kindly click on the link posted above the video or on the description below. In this video, we will focus more on the algebraic derivation of the identity a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. But first, let us recall the prerequisite concepts needed for the derivation. Since we will be expanding the binomial a plus b squared, we will need the multiplication law of indices. We will also need the distributive property of multiplication. Let us start with the multiplication law of indices, which states that when we multiply two numbers or variables of the same base, say x raised to m and x raised to n, the product is given by the same base raised to the sum of the indices or powers, that is x raised to m plus n. For example, if we would like to multiply x raised to 3 times x raised to 4, the product is equal to x raised to 3 plus 4, adding the powers, which is equal to x raised to 7. If we would like to multiply x raised to 6 times x raised to 8, we will be adding the indices that will give us x raised to 6 plus 8, which is x raised to 14. The second concept needed is the distributive property of multiplication. If A is multiplied to B plus C, where A, B, and C could be any terms, the product is given by A times B plus A times C. For example, if we would like to multiply X to the quantity X squared plus X cubed, then we would multiply first X and X squared, then we will multiply x and x cubed. Using now the multiplication law of indices, x times x squared will give us x raised to 3, and x times x cubed will give us x raised to 4. The product now of x multiplied to the quantity x squared plus x cubed is equal to x raised to 3 plus x raised to 4. If we would have x raised to 2 multiplied to the quantity x raised to 6 minus x raised to 7, we will multiply first x raised to 2 and x raised to 6. Then we will multiply x raised to 2 and x raised to 7. Using the multiplication law of indices, x raised to 2 times x raised to 6 will be x raised to 8. And x raised to 2 times x raised to 7 will be x raised to 9. So the product of x squared multiplied to the quantity x to the 6 minus x raised to 7 is equal to x raised to 8 minus x raised to 9. Using the prerequisite concepts, let us now derive the algebraic identity a plus b squared, which is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. We know that a plus b squared means that we are multiplying a plus b to itself twice, that is, a plus b times a plus b. Using distributive property of multiplication, we could multiply each term of the first group to each term of the second group, 
that is a multiplied to the group a plus b or to the quantity a plus b and also we could multiply b to the quantity a plus b further we could multiply a to each of the term on a plus b that is a multiplied to a that will give us a squared using the multiplication law of indices and if we multiply a and b that will give us a b on the second term if we multiply b and a that will give us a b and if we multiply b to b that will give us b squared we can now simplify this expression by adding like terms so we have a squared and we could add a b and a b since they are like terms that will give us 2 a b plus the last term which is b squared we have just shown the algebraic expansion of the identity quantity a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2 a b plus b squared for today's questions what have you learned in this video? Please let us know by writing them down on the comment section below. Second question is, how can we use the algebraic identity a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared to expand the square of any binomial? You may write down your answers on the comment section below. We will also show some examples of this on the next video. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos on math proofs and derivations, math tutorial videos, solve items from international examinations, math tricks and puzzles, math resources, and more, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much for your continued support to CIE Math Solutions.